What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. This is our cabin challenge survival uh, deal that we've been trying to do. Uh, you know, and today I figured I'd work on my maintenance skill. And the way I'm going to do that is actually kind of funny. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop down trees with a quarter staff. That's going to actually bring up my maintenance skill a little bit. Um, and I do have plenty of tree branches, so I figured I'd do it this way. Um, right now we're at 50.1. I got to get up to maintenance two, I do believe, so I can make at least a spear. And then we're going to go out hunting more zombies. And I think that would pretty be pretty much be it. Uh, and check the surrounding area, see if I can find any more vehicles or something. Maybe I can find myself, um, you know, something uh, something of a uh, use, you know. And then we can actually move on and actually do some extra things. So I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and just continue chopping down a tree with the quarter staff. See how long that actually takes. I don't know how long that'll take, but we're going to try it anyways. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in a bit um, once I get maybe just chop down a tree. Show you guys that you can chop down a tree. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> so anyways, I'll be back, guys. All right, you guys. I'm bringing you back because I don't think you could chop down a tree with a quarter staff. It's been about three days of hitting this tree. I've gone through a lot of quarter staffs, um, but uh, the, the positive side is is I did at least get my maintenance up to level one and working on level two. That's nice. I'm hoping that the blunt maintenance will be suffice for the making a wooden spear or that stone spear and everything. So we'll try that out. Um, when, when I get this up a little bit more, I, I'm kind of getting bored of hitting a tree for a couple days. It's been like, ah, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, the positive note is too, is I have been finding a, a ton of chip stones. So we can continue making saws and axes and stuff. So that's going to be nice. I have seven chip stones right here, um, and the charcoal's good for uh, cooking in the in the fire and everything. So we're we're moving along on that, and that's kind of nice. And I have a lot of stones too, um, so that that's pretty good. So I've been happy about that, and I think what I but I'm getting a little tired of it, and I think I'm going to go around the perimeter again, and then just check the perimeter, see if I can find some more cars or something. And yeah, I have a big trash hole haul out here, and you know that's that's to be expected. And I've been uh. I'm just working on this too, just uh, adding bait every once in a while. It looks like I ran out of bait and trying to get birds here and there. Um, so I'll just continue that route. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do an explore around the perimeter, see if I can find myself maybe uh, some more zombies or even a car or something that actually has some loot on it and everything. So I'll bring you guys back if I find anything interesting in there and uh, I'll let you guys in on that. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm bringing you back because I found a few zombies. Um, I also been uh, I've been seeing cars. I've saw some other cars on the other road, uh, on the other side, and uh, yeah, it's been nice to see them, but no loot yet. So well, but we will kill zombies if we see them, and then see if we can get some loot off of them. It's always uh, a good uh, you know. There's a, there's a chance something will be on them, and uh, I don't have lucky trait though, so it does make it a little bit more difficult to actually find uh, loot sometimes. So I've been working on that, and uh, you know that's fine. You know, looking for zombies is always a uh, you know kind of a fun thing to do. Hopefully, we find some loot on these guys, and uh, not not too hard of a of a group really. Okay. I should just pound all these guys on the ground. I didn't think about that. Oh my god! There it is! Oh my god, that makes life so nice. Oh, a survival axe, guys. That's amazing. Oh, that was our first really good piece of loot off of a guy. Oh, that's amazing. I should uh, start making ropes and stuff like that, because I'm going to be chopping a lot now. I can definitely get a lot of logs. Um, unfortunately, not tons of uh, ways to do like carpentry and stuff, because uh, without like a dowel, or uh, you know some type of nails and everything. I'm not going to be able to do it. But you know, hey, cool. Um, you know, I'm happy to get myself a survival axe. I've been really looking forward to get one of those. Uh, another thing too is uh, I'm not going to use the survival axe as a weapon though because it's going to be too valuable for me uh, for chopping wood and stuff. Oh, uh, another thing too though, I was going to say is that I've had these bandages on for a while, so I'm ready to remove them. I think I think they're good. Yeah, that's good, and that's good. So those were the scratches I got last time, and it looks like I survived. So that's really good. 
Um, we're getting our maintenance up, kind of. You know, it's taking its time, but uh, I'm, it, we're working on it. Um, I have tons of zombies I could skin if I wanted to, but I know there's more zombies out here. Um, you know, we, oh yeah, we also have to do a little, our traditional drink, take a drink and, uh, eat a couple lemongrass. Man, that's exciting that we found ourselves a survival axe. I'm really happy about that. Um, don't know exactly how many things I'll open up, but they'll definitely open up, uh, chopping down trees pretty easily for us. And, uh, I'm more than happy to do that. And if, if I find some more survival axes, sure. I mean, why not? Why not uh, use it as a weapon? But for the time being, uh, we just uh, won't do that. It seems like if you get up too close with the um, quarter staff, that's when you don't knock them down. It seems like it hits them, but you just don't get a knockdown on them. All right, I'm gonna continue my search down through here and see if I can find some more zombies. And if I if I do, I'll bring you guys along, and uh, maybe we'll get some loot out of it. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, I'm spotting some more zombies in the woods. Uh, looks like they're all getting stuck by the water, which has actually been kind of like my sa saving grace for finding zombies, which is kind of nice. A um, little scary, though, because uh, it's really hard to get them, filter them out of here, and I can't always see in all directions. Yeah, see, they're, like, they, they tend to be in some weird spots for me, and it ends up being kind of hard to, to figure out where they're at. Because they could be coming from all different weird directions. The core staff actually works really fast, but um, I don't know how much damage it does. It doesn't seem to do a lot, and it doesn't really break down that that you know easily. I thought I saw a oh, pencil. Oh my god, that is amazing, guys! Oh, dude, I have paper back home, and now we can craft some other things. Oh, this is good, guys. We're getting we're getting somewhere now. We are getting some somewhere. I, I need the pencil so then I can uh, make some more, um, what was I thinking? Uh, uh, some more of the blueprints. But yeah, that's amazing. We got it. All right, let's just keep a pencil, man. Now, just one pencil just, oh, that's, unless, allows me to make one thing. I'm gonna have to be very selective, I think. I don't know if it uses up the whole pencil. I think it does. So we'll find out that when we get home. So I think I just skimmed the water here and, we should start running into more zombies. Yeah, yeah, we should start running into more zombies like I thought. Okay, that is very good. Man, the loot just picked up right now. You know, I haven't had any really good loot off zombies in a while. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. Nah, nothing on these guys. That's alright. Just the fact that I've gotten a pencil and I've gotten um, a survival axe. Wow. I mean, that's pretty amazing this run so far. Yeah, there's a zombie in here. I know you're in here. Or is that just me? No, that had to be a zombie, right? I guess it wasn't. <laughs> I was really, I was like, come on, man, there should be a zombie there. All right, just keep following the water line, and we should run into some more. It's scary, though, man, because I can't really see when they come out I can hear them though so I, t I keep my uh, I keep my headphones really loud so I can hear it so that but, but the sounds are really uh <laughs> they're really loud like the music and stuff I, I could turn all that down if I wanted to I guess all right not seeing anything yet all right maybe maybe the maybe we've exhausted the pool for for the time being I'm sure we'll get more zombies. I'm not really worried about that. But maybe we've exhausted a lot of the pool of zombies that we had before. Let's see. This is a bad spot. This spot is really scary. No, not seeing anything. Not hearing anything. Okay. Yeah, because we have a lot of zombies. They always get trapped in this little pocket normally. And, I, uh, you know, not really seeing anything on them though. So, well. Uh, not uh, seeing any more zombies. Come on, zombies. Here's zombies. Come on, guys. Fresh meat here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just heard some rustling. We see the lady here, but I think there might even be another one. We'll see. I don't know. We'll take her, though. Come on, where are you at? Come on. 
There you are. Oh, there's more. There's one behind me, too. Oh, God, there's a couple. Oh, that was a bad... That, that was a lucky swing, because remember I told you how the quarter staff doesn't seem to work that well. Close range. Gotta catch them right at the edge. Okay, no. No. Okay. All right, nothing new, but that's all right. You know, we're getting pencils and stuff like that. I'm happy about that. I I'll take that. And here's another zombie. Okay. We might have some friends around. No, no friends. All right. Not hearing anything. Ooh, it's scary going through here though going through the the forest and everything is not my favorite thing now this is kind of scary because a lot of these zombies are moving um if they move upwards they're gonna start moving into my base area so i do have to be a little careful about that got to make sure none of them make it around this turn here yeah, I'm not seeing anything. It seems like they all kind of stop right here, which is kind of it's kind of nice because it makes my base a little bit more safe. Like they don't, you know, they don't have the intelligence to turn and head the other way. All right, I think that's it then. I don't think I'm gonna find any more zombies. Not today, at least. You know, we we have to wait for a few more meta noises and respawns to happen. So that's fine with me. But man, with survival axe and a pencil. And we gotta figure out what we're gonna wanna do with that uh, when we get home. Um, hmm. I just don't know. I don't know exactly what I wanna do. We gotta do it. Take our drink. Our drink. And a quarter of that. And two of this. It's so scary uh, because, you know, I have drinking a whole thing before and that didn't make me more sick. So I was worried about that. But it's still scary, like, you know, figuring out which things not to eat and what, what to eat because I have a lot of rotten things too. But food problems haven't been really a problem for us. You know, uh, eating any type of bad stuff or anything like that seems to be all right. Let's take a look at our trap, too, while we're here. Uh, we still have to add bait. That's right. I need uh, some more worms. All right. I'm going to continue foraging and then also figure out uh, maybe some recipes that we can work on. And I'll bring you guys back for that uh, when, I, when I figure it out and everything. Because there might be some added things we can do now that we have a survival axe. And we have a pencil, too. So I have to figure out which trap I actually want to make a blueprint for. Um, because most of them require a saw to make and I don't think I can use the you know the whatever saw that I have you know that uh, what is it called I'm making that um, primitive saw I don't think it's gonna work so I'll bring you guys back um, once I figure out some extra things we could do all right you guys I brought you back because I was out doing my foraging and ran across a couple zombies and who knows you know like like before we'll go ahead and see if we can get something from them there was a few more. I saw, I saw they ran out when I... Where are you? There you are. <laughs> they ran out on the other side of the lake and everything when I was foraging. I figured I'd come over here and just check them out. Who knows? Could get something off them. But I'm not seeing anything. But, uh, hey, you know, I'll bring you all on for that. And, uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to mention something about... Remember I was saying you could dig with your hands? Well, you can... But that's coming up with uh, the next edition of uh, a vanilla Project Zomboid. So that's something that's going to be added. And so I've been, uh, you know, I, I turned off my um, my my uh, you know opt-in for the for the new build. So that's in 33.20 is where that's going to be. So that's going to be neat. Um, and I guess how that works is that you can dig. Um, but you get a chance of hurting your hands or something like that, and then you won't be able to dig until you heal your hand. So that's kind of a cool little option. I kind of like it. It's a little added feature. But I'll just continue foraging. What I'm trying to do, actually, is a long ways to is, uh, get my foraging up to level 7. I don't really know. I, haven't, I actually haven't had this high of foraging um, in most of my characters because I don't forage like crazy. Like, you know, Normally I'm building stuff off of other things. Uh, but I'm wondering what type of new things I can get off of foraging because it seems like I get new items every time. Like I even get logs now. Um, you know, the char uh, the coal is nice for burning and stuff like that. Uh, another thing too is what I, I wanted to work on because I do have so many chipped stones now 
is I think I'm thinking about putting up a lot of traps um, and then just like line up a whole bunch of like bird traps here and then maybe we could start increasing our trapping skill and so I'll, I'll make one trap with you guys let's see what that's gonna actually take uh, let's see um, where's my trap yeah we'll make stick traps so I have to saw a whole bunch of logs which is fine because I have nothing else to do with my saw right now and I think I have my saw in here my uh, primitive saw or do I have it in here oh yeah I do okay so then we'll just take the primitive saw we'll make some sticks and I guess make as many sticks as possible and then we'll just go ahead and saw that up so I have a plank here let's go ahead and make sturdy sticks fast forward that okay and until it's, it's given the option to use a saw like use this primitive saw and a lot of the other recipes um, like you know that require a saw I think that's the only trap I'll be able to make or the only thing I'm gonna be able to make from this point on um, but you know hey it's good to know I have some logs there and I just want to make sure I don't have any planks laying around I don't think I do I think that was all my planks so let's go ahead and saw all these and uh, you know if it breaks it breaks we're gonna make a, a, a couple if we if we need to you know we can make a lot of saws right now okay and then let's saw that into sturdy sticks probably only gonna get one use out of it that's fine and then it'll break on us while we're making these okay I think it will at least um, let's see There's, where's my saw yeah I think it broke so we'll make another one but uh, for the time being I can at least make one trap I'm gonna make a lot of them and I'll bring you guys back when I finish that uh, I do got to take my drink of water I get used to this it's kind of a routine for me and then eat my lemongrass yeah I know you're saying oh you only have one lemongrass right now man I got piles of it over here I got so many so many lemongrasses it's crazy I just grab a little bit of a time so I don't weigh myself down too much carrying lemongrass well uh, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to eat all of it. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I'll bring you guys back once I make a whole bunch of traps, and then um, we'll just set them all up with uh, you know with worms and stuff like that. And I'm gonna finish off the day cooking all the items that I need to cook to level up my uh, cooking up a little bit more. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit once I finish up a whole bunch of traps. Well, actually, I said I was gonna make one with you guys. I'll make one with you guys. Why not? Right. I have a whole bunch of twine inside. Let's see. Oh, I put all my twine in here, I think. Hey, come on, it should be, oh, I'm not over there. <laughs> all right, uh, should be at the top here, and let's go ahead and craft one of those. All right, so I'll bring you guys back in a bit once I finish up making up most of the traps I'm gonna make, and I'll see you guys then. Alright you guys, as you can see I made uh, three stick traps here. I've still been foraging quite a bit. Um, I kind of want to add bait to all of them, but I don't have a lot of worms on me. And I don't know if uh, bunches of berries will work, but I would assume that berries work for birds. So I'm going to try it out. This is just kind of a test to see if it works. If it doesn't, it's okay. That's alright. You know, We have plenty of berries and stuff like that, so I figured I'd just try it out. And uh, I'm going to continue foraging. I'm still working on getting my skill up. Uh, my cooking is about ready to go to level 3. Um, so that's really interesting. I can't wait for that. And I'll probably get that this, uh, you know, this go right now. So then uh, let's see, take a look. If, if we take a look here, I have tons of things to cook and everything. And I, I've been adding things more and more as I've been going. So, you know, it, it's going along, you know, we're, we're still building, we're still trying to get everything in here for cooking. Um, we're not building anything new, uh, which kind of sucks, but I'm assuming there'll be more updates and everything. Hydromancer seems to be pretty on top of it lately. So I'll be uh, right back once I uh, finish foraging a hell of a lot more and maybe level. And then I'll tell you if those worked, you know, the checking the traps with the, with the berries and stuff. So I'll bring you guys back for that. If any of those traps work at least. Well, you guys, I tried the berries. They didn't seem to work, but now that I, um, put worms in all these, uh, it looks, sounds like I at least got something and then at least in one of them. I don't know if all of them, let's check them all. Add bait. We'll put another warm in. It seems like the worms seem to be working. Yeah. All right. So at least we got one more. We got a bird. That's another thing we can cook. 
uh, excited about that. It's been a really good day so far, especially finding that survival axe. Um, the pencil didn't really pan out like I thought it would because I need the books in order to craft um, some of the other traps anyways. But it, it wouldn't have really mattered. I, I would have needed nails or a saw to make them work anyways. But, that, you know, hey, you know, I'm still happy to get pencils and things like that off of uh, zombies. Um, so I don't know what else I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just do cooking uh, as our last little bit. I'll probably do a little bit more foraging right now get a few more warms and then uh you know catch a couple fish and then we'll go ahead and uh end the episode with me cooking and getting my cooking level up because it's uh it's almost there right there and i'm only halfway through my foraging uh to get to level seven and that's gonna take me a long time it looks like to actually get there so i'll just continue this up and then um i probably won't even bring you guys along for the fishing uh, we'll, I'll just catch a whole bunch of fish and then we'll cook them up and everything because that takes a little bit of time too to fish So I'll see you guys when I'm ready to cook everything and we're ready to level up our cooking to see how far we can get it um, On this cooking little spree. All right. See you guys in a bit Well, you guys I'm back and Our fishing line broke on us. Unfortunately, it lost its fishing line uh, fishing rod without line. I don't really think there's anything I could do about it. I made like thin rope and stuff like that, but uh, that doesn't seem to do the trick. I don't really know uh, if I can if I can repair it or not. I don't think I can. But um, I do want to plan on doing the cooking that I said I was going to do today. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a ton of stuff in here. Um, some dead birds, a lot of grasshoppers, things like that. So let's go ahead and add some fuel. Um, right now, add fuel. We'll do some coal, and as traditional, I, I like to put a little bit of, of maybe some twigs and some bark in there. So let's go ahead and grab some twigs, and I don't know. We'll, we'll find some bark inside, I'm sure. Yeah, just some regular bark is fine. Actually, birch bark. I, I, the reason why is because birch bark for me, like I, I've told you guys before, Birch bark says fire to me, you know? That's what you use in the wilderness. All right, so um, we'll add some twigs and we'll go ahead and add some um, birch bark. And then let's give this fire a go, you know? Uh, so, so add, no, not add fuel. I want to light fire with uh, this and then this is our traditional stick and stuff. If we need to make some more sticks, we'll, we'll do it, but we'll try our best, try to get this fire started. Ah, oh, it's raining too. Okay, uh, light fire. Come on, man. Gotta get this fire lit. It's raining a little bit, so might have a problem with it. I don't know if it, it takes in the account for that, but we'll see. Are you serious? Oh, I just lost my stick, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get ourselves another stick. Um, I have some planks here. Do I have a saw still? No, I gotta make a saw real quick. All right. That's okay. That's all right. It's expected, you know, and it's not going to light every time. That's the thing that kind of sucks using uh, this method. Oh, do I have all my chipstones there? Yeah, I do. Um, can I make my saw right here? I need some twine. I know that. And I need a, a stick. Some twigs or something. I can't remember what it is. A tree branch. Oh, well, whatever it is, we have it here. So make stone saw. I wonder if it's gonna be hard to light in the in the rain. I don't know. I mean, it's seeming that way. Okay, so we did that. Oh, we have a saw, but we don't have any uh, sticks yet. So let's make some sturdy sticks. Okay, come on, come on. That transfer inventory thing, man, it's rough. Okay, so now we should have some sticks on us. Yeah, okay, and we have our notch board, okay. Uh, light fire, right? Uh, oh, is it like it used up all the fuel I had there? Could be. That's interesting if that was the case. Let's uh, grab a few of these then. A few twigs and another thing of coal, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That, that seems weird. It should be coming out. Oh, did my notch board actually finally break? That, that could have been it. I didn't even think about that. Uh, it did. Okay, so we gotta make another notched board. So we'll saw these logs real quick. It really sucks, dude. One log gives me one plank with this primitive uh, saw. So you know what? Oh well. Drill plank. 
Gotta do it all over again. Hopefully I can do this in the rain. I don't know. Okay, add fuel, light fire. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, guys. Come on. Are you serious? What just what just broke on me? My stick broke on me. Wow. This is a, they're making it more difficult for me, guys. Come on. Are you are you joking? Are you joking? Where's my notch plank? Wow. I've never had so much problems. Maybe it's the rain. I gotta probably do this out of the rain. Wow, man. They're just like trying to hose me everywhere now. Okay. Uh, do we have any more logs? Yeah. Let's go ahead and saw lights. I'm losing notch planks now. That's really. That's crazy. Oh well. I guess we do what we gotta do, right? I should eat some food and stuff. I can't even light this fire now. And we'll make a drill plank. Okay. All right. Well, we're here now. We got it all. Uh, let's eat a little food and stuff. Uh, let's get all all happy. Let's see. Uh, bunches of mushrooms. Sure, these were fresh, right? Yeah. Okay, and drink a little bit of water. I'm also not finding a lot of lemongrass anymore, and that's kind of concerning me. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm hitting that like wall where I'm not getting a lot of the things I I, I need. Uh, let's go ahead and light it. Come on. Come on, man. Light this fire. Oh, thank God. Woo. The fire. All right, so we are going to be cooking here. Um, I should probably take off my jacket. I always have that problem. Equip. And then uh, let's look at our cooking skill. Should be raising pretty fast. There it goes. There's already level one level. And we'll just make sure everything gets cooked here. Grubs are still fresh. They're, they're cooking. We just got to make sure everything gets burnt. I don't really care about it lasting or not. I guess the birds would be all right to keep. You know, we could keep the birds if they, if you know, let them burn a little bit and then we'll grab them. Okay. Dead bird cooked. And the dead bird is cooked. All right. Everything else should be burnt now. Um, shouldn't have any fresh things in here. I'll let it burn for a second just to make sure. Yeah, everything's burnt, it looks like. All right, uh, and then I'll take a look at how many levels I got off of that. It was quite a bit of stuff I cooked. Oh, these grubs, oh, they're fresh, but they should be cooking. Cooked, oh, they are cooked. Oh, okay, that's fine. They just don't burn, I guess. All righty, let's put out the fire then. Uh, no other reason to have it on right now. Unless I wanted to make like a hardened spear or something like that. Uh, so let's take a look at the levels. Um, yeah, a little bit, not too much. I got an extra hundred out of it. Uh, we're about halfway there on level seven and I think that's where I'll just continue. Um, I'll probably be a couple days when I actually decide to do some more, um, on this character and, uh, then we'll just go ahead and continue from there. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see further. Take it easy guys. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.